Matthew Williams here with The Secret Vault and just doing the boring bit which is the factual information. So this is the United Kingdom if you didn't know and just in case you didn't know that's France, Ireland, Wales, yeah whatever. Um, enough of my sarcasm. So this is Corsham and as many of you will know uh, I've done quite a bit of stuff on the underground bunkers which are all kind of placed around here we'll catch up in a second and show you some of them um, if you want to have copies of these maps to install in your Google Earth let me know and uh, it helps you know where the stuff is underground in relation to the surface like these these mines here for instance and these mines here which are used for wine storage by a company called Octavian but we're not interested in that today we're interested in the fact that uh, this place called the GOSC which is the Global Operation Security Command Center or Control Center um, is basically a new type of GCHQ they they're employing children as hackers and have boasted about this in the in the local media They boasted about employing child hackers both in the local media and by advertising for adults to join the military and work either in a civilian or military role as hackers from this place. Now what would they want to be doing with hackers? Now there's a big data center they built over here which they say is publicly owned but it's a massive data center and then over here on the other side of the road this is military so this is apparently civilian but it seems to have military guys securing it wink wink nudge nudge nothing to see here um, then you cross the road and this becomes military now this is the bit where you'll actually be doing the work we think and um, massive car park as you can see and uh, this place was given 650 million pounds that's like you know a, uh, that's over halfway to a billion pounds worth of money investment to create uh, something of a security center a, a response center which would work with GCHQ and government in London to tackle cyber threats now this to me uh, using the military against the public it goes against what I believe you know we're supposed to be doing under law you know it's the same thing with MI5 military intelligence 5 it's military intelligence now you're not supposed to use armies and army personnel against the population of a country internally when we're not in war you know so you're not supposed to have army working against the public or working to root out the public this is not allowed but of course this is the secret law the law that doesn't get talked about the law that's behind the scenes the law that says they can do anything they want and they were given 650 million which was earmarked for cyber terrorism and whatnot to GCHQ. GCHQ then promptly handed it over to the military and they built this place. But it has the connection hasn't quite been made, but I mean I followed the paper trail a little bit and found out that this place that was supposed to be public, uh, publicly owned, uh, some of the company directors on that were people who were once the 
uh, direct generals of MI5, MI6, like Elizabeth Man Mannington Buller, who is, um, you know, very well connected with that. I mean, how would they just happen to be the people who, you know, are publicly owning this data center? And of course, why do they do this? Why would they make it public and publicly owned as opposed to military? Well, of course, because if it's publicly owned, then it's not covered by the um, Secrecy Acts so much so that you can hide things in commercial environments and they are not subject to the Freedom of Information Act. So these documents relating to this place don't have to appear in the Public Records Office and this company doesn't necessarily have to answer for what it's doing. Isn't that very clever but also quite deceitful? So, what we're interested in is the fact that this place has been activated now and underground, uh, you can see entranceways like this is an end underground entranceway and these are breathers. Uh, this is an entranceway with a lift shaft you can see there and across the road there are various entranceways like this is the lift shaft for going down to Burlington, the uh, old Cold War bunker. Across the road we've got the Commander of the Defence Communications Network which has had a, a facelift to make it look all shiny and nice so it doesn't look like a military building and um, they're closing off the roads again, Skynet drivers being closed off and uh, we don't know why that is perhaps because they don't like people driving up here and driving in and asking questions at the guardhouse and then you've got this the the, the, the sort of um uh the f interesting sort of like uh, there's some breathers that have been blocked off and some entranceways that have been blocked off over here and then we've got the super secret uh tunnel which is Ah, the Caution Computer Centre, which was black budget funded by the Thatcher government. It's a command and control centre for Trident nuclear missiles, and it's a fallback uh, position for uh, control of government, control of military. If London gets bombed out, this place takes over. So, um, you will find that this was played down security's played down you can actually walk all the way from the main road down here and all the way up to the gates and have a look and we've been reliably told by the ministry of defense police as of the 8th of 2019 so uh august we were told when we went there with a the vice tv crew from uh, vice tv and they said we can't actually stop you filming even though there are signs on this gate saying use of cameras not prohibited not um uh, not allowed or something or use of cameras prohibited and we said yes but we don't know where you mean we don't mean if you mean inside this area this compound here or on this road that goes up to the the road which has no gates on it so we can walk in from the public area and walk up here and you're telling us that we can't use cameras well this seems to me like a public road and he said well mm, yes and then I said, well, can we take photos or not? And he said, well, we can't stop you. So the bottom line is, if you want to come and have a look at this place, maybe take photos, they will send out the police to have a look at you and they will just usher you to sort of move out, which you will probably do. Uh, that's all fine. But what we're interested in here in this video is the base, which is across the way, which a lot of people forget about because underground and the whole of Corsham here, and this is another base, this is the one Exploring Where Fighters went into called Copenhagen. Underground here, there's a huge underground facility that uh, is no longer used. Uh, and uh, this bit here, there's a quarry uh, down here called, uh, God, is it Pickwick? Pickwick Quarry, I think, and they still produce um, quarry stone. Now that is linked to this base underground, and it's also linked underground to this place because it's linked as an emergency escape route for the Caution Computer Center. So they keep that place fairly well secured. But then you've got the Command of the Defense Communications Network over here. We've got this massive new GCHQ center here, which has started using the underground facilities. And it's been put across to us, we won't say where from, but we've been told that the facilities have been reactivated for the use of this data center. So guess what? These old tunnels that they said for many, many years were nothing are now secured. They've now got underground cameras back up in the tunnels. So the tunnels that come from over here and come up to about the level of here underground, they can't be accessed anymore. Um, they've been blocking them off. They've been in this area, uh, where is it over here? I've got to work out where we are now. Do, 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 do. Uh, 
anyway somewhere around here there are entrance ways uh, which are famous for people going in and looking underground now those have been blocked up with metal grills and people have still found ways around because there are lots and lots of ways to get into these tunnels uh, but the police are coming out to see people if they spot them on the underground cameras so um, interesting it's all very interesting for a base that was supposed to have closed down many years ago and wasn't interesting we put it on the map and they said well screw it why don't we just sort of go in the open and now they're starting to close everything off and they're not playing the quiet quiet game anymore they're going full full chat on keeping things secret sending the underground stuff back into use and anyway so the point is that if you look at the command and defense communication network over here it's very small this is supposed to be in charge of the military skynet satellites and other secret military satellites which probably involve the, the zircons and the the the, the, the pinhole camera um, sort of skynet uh, is just for communications the British military have also got secret cameras just like the Americans use the CIA use which can read you know almost read the newspaper that you're reading from space um, probably some of that is controlled from here because this after all is the command of the defense communication network command so this is the headquarters okay controlled by London but this is where they push the buttons to move the satellites and switch the telephone networks on and off so this is a very important place but it doesn't have very much to it now on the side here this is a telephone exchange building and it obviously has lots of lines in fiber optics in broadband in and there's a few satellite dishes on the edge you can see some of them here you know there's a few satellite dishes but they're pretty small and i have always contended because this is supposed to be also the 1001 signals unit and they also have a detachment over here in a very different place which is um, Cologne Air Base. Let me see if I can find it. There it is, Cologne Air Base. Now, this place is kept pretty much like Rudlow Manor used to be on a care and maintenance basis. There's um, a lot of money has been spent on the runways, even though it doesn't fly any Hercules or C-120s or anything like that. These runways are absolutely immaculate. And what are they used for? Well, for the use of a Cessna based flying training corps for the RAF so that's the reason they have a whole airfield along with big hangars and oh what's this what's this we have barracks here which is probably for keeping this area secured and then we have a lot of satellite dishes which are very hefty very well protected i would say against a nuclear blast these ones and we have a big surface bunker we don't know how far it goes underground but what my contention has been in the past is that cologne is kept on this kind of care and maintenance basis and nothing to see here um, simply for the purpose of securing within this secondary perimeter fence and you can see there's quite a few cars there jammed in the car park you know so obviously they're working in this place so there's a lot of action here it's not something which is you know mothballed uh, this is something that is being used for communications and I contest that basically across country underground or via microwave links or whatever it takes from here and this is a this is a big valley here from a big valley and you've got the Rudlow site one which is where the RAF police used to investigate the UFOs you see so this is just about here okay and this is a big valley here so what we've got is big valley from there to there and then underground uh, here you've got 25 miles of underground tunnels which used to be the regional seats of government headquarters which was for the royal family and now you've got this new GCHQ style super center for hacking and cyber terrorism and it's over here and you've got the command of the defense communications network and you've got this big data center over here so how do these people communicate if it's not through telephone lines and other things how do they communicate well they obviously have hard wires going over here across the valley to these big satellite dishes over here and I think if you check it out you'll find that the signals unit here 
as a signals unit. So the signals unit, I think it was 1001 as well. So 1001 is over here and 1001 is at the CDCN here. Okay, so these guys have got an underground bunker of their own. Okay, these guys are using the big 25 miles of underground tunnels. There's a completely separate and new supercomputer at the um, CCC, the Caution Computer Center, which is the Trident nuclear launch and, and you know, uh, supercomputer for controlling the British military. If London gets bombed out, they'll be controlled from here. Um, you'll hear lots of things to deny that, but I mean, you know, uh, this has a supercomputer on spring-mounted floor, which is similar to how they do it in Cheyenne Mountain in America. So command and control after a nuclear blast, uh, they wanted to survive, and uh, this is where it's done. Now, there's no cars in the car park here on this photo, but I, I can guarantee you if we uh, roll it back, we will see... If we roll the dates back, we will see cars parked in that car park because trust me, this place is rammed with people working. And if you go down there on any other day, you'll probably find it's full. There you go. See, there's cars in the car park on a different date. Uh, plenty of cars in the car park there. And some people even walk into work. There we are. So let's go back again. More cars parked in there. I mean, you know, and this is before beforehand. They used to park over here. You see, when the houses weren't built, because they built houses over here to try and hide the entranceway. And look, they used to have a car park here that didn't even have a fence around it. You could walk in from the main road down here, go and look at the people's cars, and they would just walk in down here, and there were no signs saying military base or anything. It was all super secret, trying to keep people from realizing there was anything going on. So they keep this bit saying, keep out military, keep out military. And this little laneway here, they don't say anything. They park up here quietly, walk in, and this is the real super secret bunker. So they deflect attention by trying to draw you over here with the signs and the guards and the military and the police and the RF police and guns and this way just walk straight into the super bunker you won't get in but uh, you can go and have a look at the front door so anyway there we are I've spent more than enough time explaining now let's have a look at Cologne Air Base and we're going to have a look in some of the hangars and show you the uh, br 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 the satellite dishes anyway thank you very much good night right we're here at um, RAF Cologne which is a supposedly mm, semi-standby base. They have got a crew area over there, but this is the interesting bit, this satellite uplink, downlink station, which I believe is still in use. Some of the dishes do look a little bit manky, but um, hard to tell if they're in use or not really. But anyway, this is a very well-maintained air base which looks like quite low security. Some of the fences used to be so low you could just actually just hop over them. But I, th I used to believe, and still do believe, that they kept this place on standby because over that way is RAF Redlow Manor. And that would have meant that this place could be flown into at short notice if they needed to get people into bunkers and things. So we've got a bit of an old uh, smashed up building here. So just gonna go have a quick look. Get in the air angle, you'd have to climb through the window because there's a load of stuff waiting up there. Oh dear. Let's have a look. It smells of mank. Yeah. So they've, um. Oh god, I forgot to put the blinking battery on my thing. I have to go and get my O light. I don't know if I've even brought that actually. Whoa, this looks like mank central. So this is part of uh, an old adjoin adjoining building to one of the hangars. As you can see, quite... The lights are on in here. Lights? Is there power going to this building? Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. There's power going to the building. How the hell is there power going to this building? It's crazy, isn't it? Maybe they are using the hangar next door and they needed the power on for that. Yeah, I didn't bring my light for my camera. To be honest, though, I think it'll be all right. Yeah. Daylight, even in there, you know, because you can yeah. see in the dark. But uh, ah. it's 
smells of damp, damp plasterboard. Yeah. Lights on down there as well, to be honest. That's a light. That's a light. Nothing down here, is there? Television. Kits have been in here by the looks of it, though. Yeah, yeah, they've obviously destroyed everything. Toilets. Smashed to smithereens. But uh, we were spotted coming in here by a security guard at one of the one of the places, but watch that doesn't slip when you're going in on the wheels. Yeah, if you can lift that crap out of the way, you can probably get in there. Well, what I'll have to do is I'll have to get in there first, pull the chair out and the metal plate, and then you should be able to open the door. Do you want these gloves to protect your hands? That'll be God, look at him. He's dressed smart. He's still going in there, look. Amazing. Amazing. If you, could, if you can get these bits up, though, we can get in there, then. Yeah, we'll just lift that chair out of the way. Oh, I don't know, actually. Chair, and then like what looks to be loads of blocks of wood. Uh, yeah. If you get the chair out though, it'd probably all start to come out. Oh no, I mean that's literally from there. There's layers of it all the way down to the floor. There's a stack of wood at the bottom here, which is probably about that high. A couple of boards. Oh god. So what he's basically saying is I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to climb in there. I'm dressed. Look at me. I'm dressed. I'm doing a television interview in a minute. <laughs> totally dressed the wrong way for the type of people that it's going to be, but yeah. ITV Central? No, for, uh, Vice. No, no, it says here, ITV Central. Oh, right. Do you think they've been using it as a movie set or something? Oh, my God. They must have been using it for a TV show or something. Oh, my God, that looks dingy in there. Nothing in there? It looks like there's a lot of stuff in there. Really? Just getting in there is the thing. I'll probably get through there, right? Yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, it's on, once you're on the chair and you've got one leg on here, that there's quite stable. Oh. You want me to grab your camera? Come on then. <laughs> right, it's filming. Yeah. Look at the lengths we're prepared to go to. Look, we dre dress like we're <laughs> just a day in the office and we're still, still messing about. That's the one. straight onto the back of that chair here. That's what Tidy. I did. Tidy. Ooh, the neck. It's dark in there, isn't it? The lights on in there. What lights on it? That's a side room, is it? The lights are on, power's on in this place. All computer screens. Can you hear the power? Thing down to 50 so it doesn't flicker. Let's go and have a look then. Offices with lights on, it's mad. Oh, the doors are open the other end. Yeah, it looks like it's rubbish stacked up from a rubbish thing, but but these things here they're not rubbish, no. or are they? Are you full of rubbish? Unknown. Oh, the doors are slightly ajar as well. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, this is a rubbish store, isn't it? In fact, they look like, um, uh, this is not rubbish, this is textiles. Yeah. That's all textile rubbish. Again, my camera can see better than my eyes. 
So you can see all the way to the end of the hangar, which I cannot see with my eyes. I can just see the open door at the end. It's pretty mad. A big old hangar though. You can have a party in here. But one match, unfortunately, I think, and uh, the party would be over very quickly. Because this would go up like a bloody tinderbox. This would go up super fast if somebody set fire to this, which I'm not suggesting they do. I don't know if you could even be able to get over there because you have to climb over the, the crud. I, I don't think you can get over there. Hmm. I don't want to climb over that. No. So you've got, again, I can't see that with my eyes, but the camera can see it. And you've got a way that you could walk up and over there. Oh, still a massive old hangar space you could have a party in, but I wouldn't trust the bloody party goers not to start a fire, really, with all of this. Yeah. Bit smelly. Yeah. Oh, I heard somebody then. We've got visitors. It's about a million pie containers. It sounded like we had somebody coming in then. What were they doing with it? What? I've just found a few of these. What? Oh, sodium lamps or something, is it? Yeah, 600 watt. Let's have a look. They, that looks like it's been used a little bit as well. Yeah, no, that's 150 what, watt. What type is it? Is it one of the... Yeah, yeah high-pressured sodium. So, so that would be um, street lamp growing. grow room. Yeah, high-pressured high sodiums. That's six hundred watt high-pressured sodium. That's what they use for growing cannabis. No way. Or big tomatoes. Oh well. Yeah. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's just a drain, is it? Hey, um. Hmm. Yeah. Well. Oh yeah. Fair enough. Can you hold on to this whilst I, uh... Yeah. Okay. Just watch the joystick doesn't move. Yeah, memory. Cheers, man. This oh. climbing is now with my stomach. Oh. I bet. Oh. Oh, cheers, man. Nice breeze out, yeah? Yeah. Compared to the uh, stagnant air of in there. Yeah, which is the camera can't pick up. Whew. Well. Worth, worth going in to have a quick look, anyway. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty weird. Look at this. Lights. Yeah, these strange candle things. Like yeah. What the hell's going on there? It's like somebody's used um, expanding foam to hold all the candles in, but it, looks, it just looks like janky, janky crap. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like uh, fairyland sort of nonsense, isn't it? Well, there is that ITV oh, back out there. There's one of those large lights there that probably those bulbs come from, look. There's one in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a large ceiling light. Yeah. Oh, shit. Interesting. Yeah. So, yeah, what's all this jank there? Look at this. I don't know what this is here, on the floor. Expanding foam. Oh, that is a, that's um, like a, a, a thing that you, you know, you sit in it. Yeah. And you'd have a sleigh. You'd have a sleigh. It's a sleigh. Mm. It's either a boat or... 
Yeah, you know, so legs and slate. Because the way it goes up to the front. This is something like Cinderella's castle type thing. Cinderella, and yeah, that's yeah. a sleigh. And where did I see a couple of other things that had something to do with fairy tales in here? There's something else. Oh, look, there's a chair here, look. Queen's, King's or Queen's chair, look. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this has been for somebody's party or something. That there looks like candlesticks or an organ. Well, they did have the ITV thing there, didn't they? So they might have filmed something up there. Yeah. Might be, yeah. They filmed a show called How to Be Janky and uh, Janky and Crap. Tell you what. Boiler room, right. So, I think these Hills Waste things let us know that probably Hills are using this as a storage centre. Yeah. Yeah probably overflow because they don't have enough space for this uh, rubbish at the moment so they're just storing it here yeah. <sighs> so big old uh, fuel tank a lot of cables like the extension cables and stuff like that yeah I, th I, get, I, I think you're right though I think they've used this as a TV set or something yeah all setty Anything through here? Oh, look at the sloping uh, floor in here, though. Bizarre. Why does the, the floor slope up like that? Burner on, high temperature. Lockout, high temperature, burner one, burner two, hand start, auto. What was this for? That. Furnace, isn't it? That's for putting in the furnace yeah. to get to the back to scrape out the furnace. Would that be the oil for it there then? Uh, could be, yeah. I don't know, these, these here look like the openings. Yeah, that's it, it goes on the wall. Yeah, that is. Just want to get in the car and bloody drive and have some air. Yep. Anyway, there's the old uh, protected satellite dishes at uh, Cologne. Oh, God. Yeah, well, they must have lights inside, they can flick them on. Yeah, Power's getting yeah, in. True. Probably because they can't see what the hell they're doing unless they turn yeah. some lights on. Very interesting place, though. Yeah. Now, these places look more modern and maybe in use. And. Could be. That might be hills, yeah. Let's go and have a little drive around. See what's going on. Back of Cologne, we've got some privately hired um, hangers, which are a little bit more old school, a little bit more manky, but um, still useful. But the ones owned by the Ministry of Defence on site on the base, they are quite a different look and feel. So these look um, disused, yeah, smashed up. That looks like a slope shaft off the side, a sloping, sloping side, can you see? Hangar 19 World War II. Post 19. It's so got a boiler unit over there like the other one. But I don't know, it's just, see the side? I don't know if that means, it probably doesn't mean anything, it's just uh, they look like they've got a slightly sloping, yeah. sloping edge to them. Uh, do you want to check it out? Time, haven't we? Oh, ten minutes, yeah. Ten minutes to get back. 
I'll go and have a look again then. Yeah. It's easy to get into that, no problem. Right, oh, not bad then. So let's go and have a look at the control tower and we will uh, have one last look at the old uh, satellite dishes here, the protected protected um, nuclear satellite dishes which are looking like they've seen better days but um, that's on site it's got a interior perimeter security fence and I've always believed that uh, that is the uplink for CDCN, GOSC, Redlow Manor, Spring Quarry all that stuff would, would have gone through up to the uplink there off site. You hear the military, military ones are a lot better looking so they're much higher maintained. I assume these are military, these ones on the left, but uh, certainly further up there, there are some which are military, they're on site. You've got the control tower is directly ahead of us. The nuclear protected satellite dishes over there. But um, yeah, because these bits are privately hired, you can drive up this road vehicle that's been uh, oops a daisy got on my camera yeah uh, before I was interrupted by a box falling over in the back of my car this looks like some sort of vehicle they've cut the roof off so it might be something the ambulance not ambulance but the fire service they may have a fire service for this airfield and they may have been practicing with their jaws of life or whatever they call them uh, there you can see the control tower, which I think we may come and try and get on the roof of soon. A bit of fun. Yeah. Here's the very well maintained airfield, the runway. It's in very good condition. So. Really? No. What about from the other end? Was there a window? Just an empty room. That was an office, isn't it? Ah. Oh, it's not like the other one then. No. Hmm. Looks like somebody's living in here. Yeah? It's a bit different. Why is that whiteboard on the outside? Teenage Nugent Mutant Ninja Turtles. Knob is mine. PS is gay. F it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the f? <laughs> Turn these things you want to get a bloody pliers on there. Yeah, so we haven't found a way in from this side yet, but uh, we shall see if there's another way from the back. Have you had have you had a good look through this side? Boilers again. This is Hangar 19. W two W. Doesn't matter. Anyone ever sees you pulling in here? Just quickly running through that door, away from the roller up. Get your car in there. I do. They'll come round here looking for him. Wow. Yeah. Car coming here, Scott. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's um in uh, yellow rotators for the roof on yeah, over there. Beacons. Yeah. So we couldn't get in this side, walk around, see whether we can get in the other side. A little toilet. Yeah, but it is 
quite rough surface, your feet would probably, yeah, your feet would adhere to it probably quite well. Just get it back on that end bit and then like hold you, hold yourself, give yourself a pull up. Oh, there's a camera over there, look. Oh, and it's turning. But I think it's an automatic turner. It's one of those ones that just turns on its own. Good. All we need is one of the door handles, really, to like wind the doors open. Yeah. There's a door here, but it's got a it's got a bottle in front of it. Dun, 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 dun. Metal door. Yeah, looks pretty solid. Just make sure there's no uh, Scooby-Doo. Ooh, full of um, church pews. Out of a church and, and church seating. It's literally like half a bloody church in there. What's this little building then? Yeah, no, what's this little building? It's got a gate as well. 101. Oops, my uh, sorry, things on. Sorry, yeah. Substation. Ministry of Defence substation. Well, hey. In case of emergency, phone 01225 745 246. Rudlow Manor. Probably. Oh, the diggers is having a go. Wants to get up on top. Oh, don't tell me we we can't get round there. Bloody bushes in the way. I, uh, I fancy jumping up there to save a bit of time as well. Is that a bit hard? A little bit. <laughs> Surely you should be able to get if you there. Had a tree there, you'd be alright. Yeah, okay. Well done. Be easy. Hmm. Got a boost up? You can turn around and grab me. Whatever. It's not that, uh, it's just having something to uh, put on to to get up. There. Yeah. Yeah. Go on, he'll give you a boost, like. No, that's right. Hang on. Hmm. 
Yeah, see? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Could you um, do the honours? Oh, can he though? Is he going to slide? <laughs> if we can get another person on, we can put it up in a chain. Alright, I'll get you up. Can you get me up, yeah? Yeah. Alright. So then this leaves you. That's right. right. Cheers, man. I got this. Yeah, he's done it. He's done it. Who says we ain't nimble? Like bloody Alley Law Crew, look. Like. Alley Law Crew. I reckon we're better off. Get this way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I don't think we planned for the other side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I get on the wall and grab Matty's camera and then pass it down to you once you're uh, down there. Do you reckon you could kick him in? I'll give it a go to you, mate, don't worry. I got trousers in the car, but I just didn't expect to need them no. this soon. You could probably just dangle down a wall off by there. Bricks. Wobbler. You have to do a dangle down. Yeah, I'm thinking that, but there's gonna be a brick in this bike and this wall is really <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh he's he's got it sorted, look. Yeah. Oh, cool. Can I hand this to you then? Yeah. There we go. There we go. Do a bit of film work of us coming <laughs> down. Matt's being a bit, bit cautious there. What do you reckon? Out ten. Oh, my ass is cut off the fucking one of the walls. <laughs> Probably got one or two in there. I ain't got no socks or shoes, look. Should be alright. Yeah, I've got the worst tangled up bit away. Okay. Yeah. Come on, lock and ladder. I bet that's easy to know why I have to do it to sit on him. Ali Law, eat your heart out! <laughs> Get me to the chopper! Cool, well, that was uh, so exciting. I'm gonna have to fucking go in the car and cut off.